Museum Nerve Commander and Firebase Job Dispatcher have both been deprecated. So if you're still using these APIs, now is the time to switch. This episode of Math Skills will show you how to migrate your code to use Work Manager APIs instead. To get a general sense of how to migrate your app from GCM Network Manager to Work Manager, we're going to convert the now deprecated GCM Network Manager sample to use Work Manager instead. The first thing we need to do is add the Work Manager libraries to our dependencies. Depending on whether you're planning on implementing Work Manager with Java or Kotlin, you could choose the dependency that's appropriate for your project. Notice that we also have a Work GCM dependency here. This is strictly optional, and you only need it if you want to continue using GCM Network Manager on devices running API 22 and below. With Work Manager ready to go, the next thing we need to do is remove GCM Task Service from a manifest. Work Manager uses workers instead of GCM Task Service to manage tasks, so we no longer need to declare the service. Now that we've removed the service from our manifest, we need to convert our task service to a worker. Your task service may have been an entry point for more than one type of work. In that case, you should have a worker for every task that the task service previously handled. For example, this task service class is currently the entry point for three different types of tasks. Now that we're converting to using workers, we should have three new worker classes for each of the tasks. In this case, we should have a worker class for the Wi-Fi task, the charging task, and the periodic task. For the purposes of this walkthrough, we'll implement just the worker class for the Wi-Fi task. So let's take a look at our new Wi-Fi connected worker class. In our new Wi-Fi connected worker class, we need to override and implement the do work method. Do work is similar to GCM task service equivalent of on run task. So we copied over the code of do Wi-Fi task to do work. Instead of using an int to define the result of the task, work manager uses result. So we can convert these methods to return a result instead of an int. Now in our main activity, we need to create a work request so that our work can be scheduled. So let's first get a work manager instance. Next, we need to create a work request. And one off task can be converted to a one time work request. And a periodic task can be converted to a periodic work request. And since we only want this task to run when the device is connected to the Wi Fi, we added a constraint for this work. Once we have our work request, we schedule the work with Work Manager and we enqueue it. And that's pretty much it. The only remaining task would be to delete a task service class and any related code, including code dealing with broadcast managers and receivers, which were only needed when we are using GCM Network Manager. Here's a quick summary of the migration steps we took. First, we added Work Manager dependencies, and then we removed task service from our manifest. And then once that was done, we converted our task service to worker classes. And then we created a work request, which were previously known as one-off task or periodic task. And finally, we needed to remove all the code related to task service. And if you want more details on handling input and output data and other advanced configurations, check out our official documentation and the detailed migration guide, all of which are linked below in the video description. All right. Now let's try migrating a project that is using Firebase Job Dispatcher to use Work Manager instead. For this example, we'll be using the now deprecated Firebase Job Dispatcher sample. The first thing we need to do is add the Work Manager library to our dependencies. Depending on whether you're planning on implementing Work Manager with Java or Kotlin, you could choose the appropriate dependency for your project. Now that we're ready to start using Work Manager, let's dive into some code. Instead of using Job Service to manage tasks, Work Manager uses worker classes. So the first thing we should do is convert our job service to a worker. Firebase Job Dispatcher's job service is equivalent to Work Manager's listenable worker. And Firebase Job Dispatcher's simple job service is equivalent to Work Manager's worker class. The difference between listenable worker and worker is that listenable workers start work is called on the main thread, while workers do work is called on the background thread. For most cases, we recommend you use the worker class because the work will automatically be done on a background thread. In the case of this sample, there was no work being done in on-stop job, so it will be a pretty straightforward conversion to use a worker class. Another thing to note is that your original job service may have been an entry point for more than one type of work. Now that we're using workers, you should have a worker class for every task that was previously handled in your job service. The job service class is pretty similar to the new worker class. The code that was previously in on-start job is now going to be in do work. Do work should also now return a result instead of a Boolean to indicate whether the job was completed successfully. 
Lastly, we need to create a work request to actually schedule our work. So let's go ahead and do that in our activity. In our activity, first we need to get a work manager instance. Then, instead of a job builder, we can now use either a one-time work request builder or a periodic work request builder. One-time work requests are meant for one-time work, and periodic work requests are meant for work that runs periodically. The app is currently scheduling a recurring job. So let's migrate that to use a periodic work request instead. Once we have a periodic work request, we can schedule for it to run with our work manager instance by calling in queue. And with that, we've done the bulk of the work of migrating from using Firebase Job Dispatcher to Work Manager. Most of the remaining work will be deleting old code related to Firebase Job Dispatcher. And here's a quick summary of the steps we took. First, we started by adding Work Manager dependencies. Then we converted our job service class to worker classes. And then we created and scheduled work requests. And finally, we needed to delete the remaining code related to Firebase Job Dispatcher. If you need more information about advanced configurations for Work Manager, be sure to check out our official documentation and the migration guide, all linked in the video description down below. All right, now that you've seen the path of migrating from old job scheduler APIs to Work Manager, it's time for you to start the migration in your own app. Once your app starts targeting API level above 29, these API calls will no longer work on devices running Android 6 and above. For more resources, check out the migration guides we've linked in the video description down below. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to subscribe to Android Developer's channel for more MAD videos coming your way.